Now, he helped create the National Inventors Hall of Fame in the U.S., which honors those responsible for great technological advances that made progress possible. Well, that's the first director there, Dr. Ed Sobey, met and interviewed the world's most famous inventors, including those who developed the MRI, the CAT scan, and cardiac pacemakers. And it was then that he found out that while these invent, um, inventors rather, were not the best students in school, they turned out to be the most successful inventors. Dr. Selby then incorporated what he learned from them into a program called Kids Invent to help kids succeed. He was in the studio to tell us more about the program and his passion for creativity and invention. And uh, the interview was started by asking him how he got interested in teaching kids. Toys are the way the kids learn about the world, and so it's the best avenue to get a kid interested in learning about science. Do you think it's suited for every age, though? I mean, mm -hmm. you play toys since uh, a young age, but how do you get them interested and to understand the concept as you're trying to from a very, you know, um, young age? Well, the children learn by playing, and they, they play mostly with toys, and, and that goes on up through people entering graduate school. We, we do the same activities, like building the electric car, with a child in elementary school and middle school and high school and college and graduate school and there's learning at every level because it's a real activity they get to express what they already know and then get to ask questions about what they don't know mm -hmm. so let's see you've brought in a few toys this morning i mean this is uh, the electric car yes uh, so for example this one i mean if it's it's a simple version i guess of what we see in normal uh, toy cars, toy cars. Like, yeah. what, what is the lesson that one yeah. would learn from this they can learn by building this about a quarter of the physical science curriculum standards for the entire year they will learn in building this plus they also learn the methods of science because this is an experimentation i don't tell them how to build the car mm -hmm. i give them the materials i say can you guys build an electric car and kids say oh yeah we can do that i said okay we'll go do it and of course then the kids say well tell me how I'm not going to tell you how. Uh -huh. You have to figure it out for yourself. So they're actually doing science. And that's what we're really promoting is kids doing science, not reading science, listening to science, mm -hmm. watching science. Okay. Kids doing science. Kids in school do not do science. Here they do science and right. they learn and they learn very quickly. I'll break it down for me then. Let's say I hand, you know, these components to my son and I yep. tell him, okay, I want you to learn science, yep. I want you to put this together, but don't you need to start with teaching them the concepts? No. No. Plus minus no. no? No. What Dessert kind? first. Right. Dessert first. <laughs> Give them the good stuff first. This is where they'll learn. The other stuff is memorization that's that's not effective in learning. Yes, they can pass the exam, but they will fail the exam of life. When I give this to a science teacher, the same project, the science teacher has no advantage over a six, seven, eight-year-old child. Okay. They may have a degree in science. They are no better at building the car because everything is memorization. Right. If I give it to them and they build the car, now they understand electricity, friction, motion, acceleration, velocity. Mm -hmm. We're going right across the right. physical science mm -hmm. spectrum. They may not understand it in those terms, but they're That's doing right. it because the trial and error, they say, I'll That's, put this and therefore yep. this spins that. And we'll teach everything they need to know about electricity in about a minute and a half mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by playing with this and they'll never forget it the rest of their lives. All I have to do is say, oh, that's polarity. Oh, that right. reverses the polarity and it goes the other way. So the only thing they're lacking is a vocabulary and we can add that later. That's right. not important. What's important is they learn and they also love to learn. They learn that they enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. Instead of kids saying, I hate science, they say, <laughs> I love science, I want to do more. See, because they can actually see it, you know, right in front of their eyes. And action. they own it. It's their car. I didn't tell them how to do it. Mm -hmm. They could have made it a triangle, a square, an oblong. They right. could have put the motor anywhere. They did it. Their, their project. My start was National Inventors Hall of Fame. I was mm -hmm. the founding director. I met all the great inventors of the world. And I asked them, why are you a great inventor? Mm -hmm. And, and they told me. And then I'd go home at night and I'd work with my two sons and I saw the same motivation in my sons that I saw in the inventor of the MRI, the CAT scan, the cardiac pacemaker, exactly the same. We have bottled that in this, this approach to learning science, mm -hmm. making kids inventors. Okay. And when we make them an inventor, then they own the project. They want to know more. Instead of saying, is this on the exam? They say, I want my car to go faster. So you're really just trying to create the interest to learn and they sort of experiment.